Yeah. Uh, just before I mention it, it or you, you can't hear any background audio at the moment, right, bro? Uh, no. Okay, good. I think this microphone is so good at not hearing background noise, even though someone else outside is like, I might mow right now while Matt's doing that. Okay. So this legal and lawful, like, uh, you know, they're presented as synonyms. Uh, people just use them willy-nilly uh, to mean the same thing. Uh, but if you dig deep enough, uh, you will find that the word liege and the word legal have a common etymological root. Okay, I've hounded ChatGPT4 about this. Uh, I've been in a very big debate about it, and it has admitted on behalf of all academia and science that legal and liege have a common root. So legal means of or pertaining to the liege, right? So when you have a legal system, that means the system of the ruler, the system of the the king, the government, right? Doesn't mean anything to do with law. It's just a system run by the liege. The one right. to whom you owe allegiance. That's right. You pledge allegiance to the flag, which is produced by the liege. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good stuff. Uh, uh, so I'll mention this abomination thing. So basically this uh, legal system is... Uh, you know, codified statutes and rule is, a, is an abomination. Okay. It's nothing that should have anything to do with us. And, you know, we, we see even First Amendment auditors are going around going, what statute? You There's no statute that says I can't. And gee, even they are fully immersed in this legal system and giving it power. So we do want to mention, do you, do you want to mention your uh, basic rules thing? Stop on red, go on yeah, green bread. I think I that's more you. Uh, yeah, I just think you know some, this. This can be a big turnoff to people when they start thinking about certain mm -hmm. rules and and customs that you have in your community. So, for example, we all, most of us, live where there are cars and streets and so forth. And mm -hmm. nobody, nobody's suggesting that there shouldn't be rules for you know driving. So we we all think it's a good thing that there you know everyone should stop on red and go on green. And if you if you don't follow those rules, then you get in accidents and kill people. So these are these are obviously these aren't laws these are rules that anybody in a community that agreed to live in the community would it would make sense that they would mm -hmm. all follow these and understand how this worked so right that's that's not you know there are there are degrees of this that uh you know make sense and degrees that don't but that you know if you didn't want to live in a community like that you could go somewhere where they you know india doesn't have any traffic lights or stop signs or you, know, you can ride your bike or your car or your horse cart on either side of the road and you know it's all it's crazy and mayhem so if you don't like green lights and red lights you can go to india so there's a way, way to get out of that but it, it makes good sense that it keeps everybody safe and so on and so forth but you know that mm -hmm. then there of course is the you know the seatbelt laws which came into effect probably right around the time you were born here in america matt I, you know, I remember a time when you didn't have to wear a seatbelt and uh I certainly didn't when I was, you know, before I was a driver, but I thought it was a, a pretty good idea to wear a seatbelt when I finally got the chance to drive. But do I agree that the guy, my neighbor, if he doesn't want to wear a seatbelt, he's got to pay the liege $250 if he gets caught? I think that's a bad mm -hmm. idea. He's a, he's a fully grown man. He can do what he wants. If he doesn't want to wear a seatbelt, he shouldn't have to. So right. we can see how most of the statutes have some rational common sense in them to start, but they always, you know, they keep taking more and more freedoms and taking more and more advantage under the guise of, you know, security or protection or whatever. Right. Right. And they don't have that right. So right. that's that idea. Um, right. And we got this here. We didn't set up. I mean, I'm not American, but still, I, I can still say this. We, we, didn't, we didn't set up a constitutional republic to hire people to make up policies to restrict our rights. So I say that right. about Which is what has happened. Right. That's right. what's happened, right? We're the boss. That's what the constitutional republic is. Right? And we created government, and then government created citizens, and then we agree to be citizens, and then they now can make rules to uh, restrict our rights. That's how it all worked. Right. Simple as so that. They made up a whole bunch of rules that say citizens can't do this, citizens can't do that, and then they say to you, "Are you a citizen?" And you go, "Yeah," and they're like, "Okay, 
So step in here, please. We have a whole bunch of rules and policies that apply to you. And you're like, oh, okay. Right. Here's my ID. Uh, how much, where do I pay the fine? <laughs> right. And, and here's the, here's the real trick. When you went to get your passport or your license, which you should, shouldn't have to get either. That's a whole different conversation. But they didn't, they didn't even give you a choice. Like, are you a U.S. citizen? Are you a you know an unregistered alien? Are you a, uh, a green green card holder? But none of them said, "Are you my boss?" <laughs> Right, because right. you would have checked that box that I'm none of those things. I'm your boss. Leave me alone. And then give us that choice. Mm -hmm. So it's uh it's te technically a fraudulent contract that they handed us, right? Lack disclosure. But right. fighting and winning that in inside their legal system is a near impossibility. Unless you know what you're doing. Okay. So are we going to common law? <clears throat> uh Absolutely. One second. <clears throat> well, common law is like statutes. It's still a substitution for law, but it's not written down. It's not codified, right? It's the basic agreement that people in a locality have uh, agreed to live by, right? You know, yeah. people... You can imagine common law, like kind of people get together and they're like, yeah, I think I'm making a society here, a little village. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll grow with time. So what do you reckon is a good rule? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll just all agree to follow and live in this way. Yeah. And I, I suppose if you, you don't do it, then maybe we'll kick you out or have some punishment. That's like agreed upon rules by the community. Would you say that's a good definition for common law, Brett? Yeah, I, it's, it's customs and traditions, right, of a gather a group of people that agree to live together effectively 